Hello, everybody. It's Storytime with Teacher Gabe, and today we are reading I'm Here by Peter Reynolds. Yep, by Peter Reynolds. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm going to make these. I'm going to have to make these a lot bigger. That is way too small for me. Welcome to Storytime, Mr. Noah. We are reading I'm Here now. Or I'm Here, yeah. Let's see. Can you hear it? Voices, splashes upon splashes of sound. I hear it all like one big noise, a big drum. Boom, 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 boom. They're there and I am here. Yes, I'm here. I know I am. I am here. With the breeze, gentle wind, I like the soft wind patting my head. Tumbling leaves stop at my knee for a visit. Sailing papers glide from the air to me. White rectangle, how did you find me? This is not where the paper wants to be. No worry, friend, I am here. I make a fold, and I fold, 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 and I'm done. Ready? Always got to throw his little paper airplane. And we're off. Higher, 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 through the clouds, and look, stars. They sparkle loudly like voices on a playground, splashes upon splashes of sound. Loudly, I shout, I'm here. Oh, he's flying through the air on his paper airplane. We've got you. They've got me. My, pair, my paper airplane and me. They run, and with a push, they send me back. Up, 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 up. Paper airplane on a breeze, gliding back to earth, gliding across the sandlot. It stops and it's n and it noticed and is noticed by someone, someone else. Who picks up the airplane? She brings it to me, my airplane. Friends, I'm here, says the plane. I'm here, says the girl smile. <laughs> me too, I'm here. All right, and that was I'm Here. Next, we have Can I Play Too by Samantha Quarter Quartero. All right, I'm going to make these ones bigger as well. Can I Play Too? Okay, let's build a track. Sure. Oh, they're going to build a train track. Do you guys like trains, either uh, Mr. Michael or Mr. Noah? Let's see. Click, clack, snap. The piece, This piece goes here. And that one here. Not there. I'll fix it. There. You found my favorite one. I know just the spot. Oh, it seems like the other little boy isn't having too much fun anymore. This is so much fun. I love trains. Did you know some trains can travel 100 miles per hour through tunnels? One time, my dad took me on a real train. Oh, this piece goes next to the tunnel. But that's not where it goes. Tug, tug, pull, pull. Heave, ho. And pop. Oh no, the train track went flying. Did you know that trains depend on traffic lights to run smoothly? Oh, he had to run under the table. And his mom's reading to him about trains. Green says okay to go. Yellow warns better go slow. Red means stop, but oh no. What do you think will happen next? Crash. 
Friends have traffic signals too. Green means I'm happy. And they say things like, this is fun. Yellow means I'm sad, confused, or bored. Pause to say, are you okay? Red means I'm mad. Stop and say, what's wrong? And once you learn them, you'll know just what to do. Your friend smiled so big when you asked him to play. Woot woo, I'm proud of you. His smile turned to a frown when he wanted a turn. And then he became angry when he felt unheard. Try a, do try a do over and see what can happen. Want to play again? Let's see. Oh, and they're both in the box. Oh, what's wrong? I had that. I'm sorry. Thanks. Click, clack, snap. Oh, it seems like they're working together now. Chugga, 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 chugga. Woo, woo. It seems like they finished their train tracks. And it says sometimes friendships get a little off the tracks. All right. And that was Can I Play Too? Next, we have A Friend for Henry by Jen Bailey and illustrated by Mika Song. A Friend for Henry. In classroom six, second left door down the second left down the hall, Henry was looking for a friend. It couldn't be Gilly who circled who circled her fishbowl. She's quiet, thought Henry, but she can't play on the swings. It couldn't be Miss Magoon, who knew about hugs. She shares, thought Henry, but she has to. Could it be someone else in classroom six? In art class, Vivian shared Henry's double easel. Easel? I think that's how you pronounce that. Vivian was a kaleidoscope, a tangle of colors. She had ribbons and, clack and clackety shoes. She knew every pony song. Her fingernails were painted like rainbows. When I get paint on my fingers, Henry said, I wash it off. Vivian waved her hands too close to Henry's face. My mommy painted them. Aren't they pretty? Painting on people is against the rules, said Henry. Did your mommy get in trouble? No. Henry lowered his voice. Did you get angry? Why should I? But Vivian was very angry later. He ruined them. She likes rainbows, Henry explained, and he thought a friend would say thank you. Oh, he put all their paints together, thinking that she would like the rainbow. Reading time was Henry's favorite. My friend will like it, too. It was Henry's turn to put out the carpet squares. He tucked the blue one next to the brown ones. The blue ones next to the brown ones. Green in the very middle. All the edges met and the corners fit perfectly. Reading time, shouted Samuel, my favorite. Samuel was a thunderstorm, booming and crashing. He was kind of scary if you didn't have your blanket. He could pick up crayons with his toes and do proper somersaults. Henry stepped in front of Samuel. Somersaults are hard. Samuel dodged past. I want a green one. Oh, he's going to grab the middle one. Wait, Henry. Henry's throat felt tight. They're perfect. Mine's a magic carpet from a genie lamp, said Samuel. Said Samuel. It's not. Henry's face was hot. It's from Rug World. There's, a, there's the sticker. Up, up, and away, magic carpet. Booming and crashing, Henry's fingers curled close. A friend listens. It seems like he's having trouble finding a friend. Henry, Miss Magoon, knelt in front of him. Sit with me, please. Henry did, but he couldn't see the pictures, and his carpet square was brown. During snack time, Jaden took three crackers, excuse me, instead of two. And at recess, Riley dug up worms and let them use the swings. Oh my. 
At free time, Henry's hope for a friend felt small. He watched the sunlight play along Gilly's scales. He could watch Gilly for a long time. Katie watched too. Katie smelled like strawberry milk. She read storybooks all by herself. She slid down the big slide, sometimes backwards. The big slide is too big, said Henry. Gilly floated past. She's shimmery, said Katie. But she doesn't talk, said Henry. What does she do? She burps pebbles, Henry thought, and breathes underwater, and turns sunshine into colors. Henry hunched into his sweatshirt. Fish things. Kitty bent to have a closer look. I like her. Henry tried not to blink. Want to play blocks? Sure. I don't like triangles, said Henry. I don't like broccoli, said Katie. Together they built a tower. It had rectangles, cylinders, and squares, but no triangles or broccoli. It's perfect, said Henry. Thank you, said Katie. The next day they played on the swings and Katie went down the big slide. Henry waited at the bottom for his friend. All right, and that was a friend for Henry. Let's see, it's good that he finally found a friend. And lastly, we have How Do Dinosaurs Say I'm Mad? by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. All right, here we go. How does a dinosaur act when he's mad? Does he roar, stamp the floor, yell at mom or dad? When he can't get his way, does he boast, I'll be bad? Is that what dinosaurs say when they're mad? When Papa says no, does he grumble and pout? When Mama says no, does he throw toys all about? When he's told to sit still, does he kick at a chair? Oh my. Does he act as if mother and father aren't there? When he hears take a nap, does he give dirty looks? When he's told quiet down, does he rip up his books? No cookies today, fling a mug at the cat. Oh, that's not nice. Time for bed, does he bang on the floor with his bat? No, a dinosaur doesn't. He counts up, he counts up to ten, then after a time out, breathes calmly, and then... He cleans up his mess, and he picks up the mug. He says, I'm sorry, and he gives a big hug. His anger is gone, so he opens the door. Not mad, I'm so glad, little dinosaur. All right, and that was How Do Dinosaurs Say I'm Mad? All right, and that was all the stories I have for today. Thank you guys for reading with me. I hope you guys have a good day.